Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Crusader Kings 3 campaign playing as Kaiser Friedrich of the Holy Roman Empire of the Great House von Hohenstaufen. So last episode we successfully consolidated our power in the realm. We've locked up Duke Berthold of Crane. We went on a pilgrimage to the Vatican and we upped the crown law from autonomous vassals to limited crown authority so we can now revoke titles and retract vassals and I would very much love to do that to the Duke of Bavaria here but apparently that will be an act of tyranny and he won't accept and he'll rise up but what we can do instead is imprison him which we have a lawful reason for he's a known criminal after all being a witch and all that um, he'll lose opinion of me uh, his family will lose opinion of me but no one else in the realm will and um, when he inevitably loses his rebellious war against me, we can take all of his titles and hand them out to members of my family. So I think we will do that. We also have an inspired person who can be sponsored, but I think that's, yes, the same one as before, and his skill is merely decent, so I'm not going to bother with that. Um, and we can ask him to become our vassal. He is the ruler of the county of Logaduro with low feudal obligations. Yeah, sure. Become my vassal. Expand the realm. All of that. So, just wait for him to accept. And then, there we go, he's accepted. He is now a vassal of us. Don't think this person will accept. Actually, I don't think we can request vassalization. I don't even know why we could request vassalization. I think it's because... No, we don't have the Duchy of Sardinia. Or the Kingdom of Sardinia. Anyway, don't worry about that. Um, let's, 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 let's... Yes, let's imprison our cousin, Duke Heinrich. He will rebel, but that's alright. We'll raise all our troops now in anticipation. Alright, so he's rebelled. Uh, interestingly, it's just him. Okay, uh, he had a lot more territory than I thought. But that's alright. We'll win the war anyway. And he was only giving me like 800 levies or something. So he's actually, he's got a reasonable amount of troops. Um, but we have a lot more. So should be able to easily take care of his army. What we want to do is we'll send one army that way and the other army that way we'll try to pincer him. We go like that. Okay, get you to go like that. Keep his army split up. Will we catch him? He'll get there on the 1st of September. And he'll reach on the 2nd of September. Yes, so we'll catch him here. So we'll get everyone to attack. In the Battle of Munchmünster. Where 8,000 troops versus 2,500 of the Duke's rebellious men. And we'll surely win. So fortunately our heavy infantry and bowmen are acting as a counter, but he's got the same. I really need to get heavy cavalry, but we don't have the right innovations. Um, ah, okay, we've uncovered her secret, which we already knew. So that's fine. That should be... Ah, one, and we imprisoned him. Brilliant, well that's the war finished. So... Hostages taken by all war participants will be released. Well, the only hostage I've got is him. Hopefully we won't release him. I wouldn't have thought that we would. But anyway, we'll gain 26 dread. He won't be able to join. And I'll rightfully be allowed to imprison him. But my whole reason for... Let's just see what happens. Okay, he did stay in my prison. Good. Because I was going to say, my whole reason for him starting the war was to imprison him. So it'd be a bit bizarre if um, if doing that didn't uh, didn't actually succeed. Alright, let's revoke 
the Duchy of Bavaria. And he has given up now. Is he still landed? No. Oh, I took all of his. He lost a title. Did I take all the duchies from him? I certainly took Bavaria and all of his counties. And I guess the other... Because he had the duchy of Tyrol and... He had some other duchy as well. Wondering if... Ah, Corinthia and Tyrol. So they just disappeared. Right, right, right. But I can now create them. Which will give me prestige. It will cost some gold. But what I'm thinking I'll do is I will create these duchies and then use that to give them out to my family members to increase the renown of our dynasty. So, I got a bunch of territory, which I don't necessarily want. Um, can I revoke? No, I don't want to do anything that's going to cause tyranny necessarily. Is there anyone that I can imprison? I can imprison Berenguela, or I can pardon her. Title revocation. She doesn't have any titles. She's got 25 gold. Let's just pardon her. Don't. I can't remember what she did. It would be nice if it told you what the... Um, imprisonment reason was. But anyway, we've got a bunch of territory now. Um, actually, let's check our hooks and secrets. So, could we imprison her? Oh, she's an ally, so no. That's alright. Count Rudolf of Nassau. That'll cause tyranny. Unless we expose his child heritage secret. But I don't think there's any reason to do that. I think only like murder and being a witch and other ones like that give an imprisonment reason. Um, it would be nice if you could sort this by vassals as well. That would be very good. Anyway, got a bunch of hooks. Secrets known to me. What's the difference? Click to toggle between showing all or only usable hooks. Oh, okay. So some of them aren't usable. Alright. That's fine. Um, Alright. Let's... So he lost... Doesn't say what title. But anyway, he lost a bunch of titles. He lost all of his titles, in fact. So that's good. So that was an easy, quick little war. We gained control over Bavaria. We can give it to someone in our direct dynasty. So let's have a look at the de jure duchies. Um, see, the trick is I don't want... Just thinking. I've only got a few to give. So what I can do is I can give Eschen Lowe to whoever's going to control Tyrol. So let's do that. Let's grant Eschenlo to... Surely I've got a son or something that's unlanded. He's the Count of Ravensburg, which is technically in the Duchy of Augsburg. Um, he is the Count of Wiltberg, which is up there, so he's a vassal of his brother. And he's dead. Um, I don't want to land any of Werner's children. Unless there's one of them who's not hideous. He's not hideous. Adolf. Put Adolf in Bavaria. That typically doesn't work out too well for Germany. <laughs> um, he has a martial education, though. And his guardian's not bad. So maybe we land him and make him the Duke of Tyrol. Uh... Yeah, alright. We'll land him in the county of Eschenloch and give him the Duchy of Tyrol. That's fine. 
Okay. And then we'll give... All of his brothers are ugly or hideous, so we won't give to any of them. But I think our son... Do we have a... Do our sons have other sons? Yes. Johan is handsome. He can take... I'll give him Bavaria, maybe. I'll give his younger brother. Or should I give... Maybe one of Adalbert's. No, I don't want to... He's already a duke. I don't want to make him too powerful. Maybe Siegfried's son, Andreas, who is homely. Ugh, okay. Hupold, then. Who... Yeah. Alright, we'll offer a guardianship as well. Give him a diplomacy. That'll get accepted, I think. In a second. Yep, there we go. Okay, and let's give him the diplomacy education focus, and then we'll grant him Falkenstein. And the Duchy of Corinthia. Okay, and then the last one we'll give to Johan, but let's also offer him guardianship. And again, I think we'll make him a diplomacy one as well. They should accept that. Yep, excellent. We'll give him the Diplomacy Education. Which doesn't lean into his rowdy trait, but whatever. And then we'll grant him the balance. Oh, actually, I need to hand out the... Um, Cause it's telling me... Isn't it telling me... Disabled building in County of Ingolstadt. Okay, but it's not because I'm holding it. Is it? No, okay, it is held by... The correct. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. All good. Um, so we'll hand it out now to Johan. And you know what? We'll give him... We'll give him two. We'll give him... Actually, we'll just, just give them all to him. There you go. He, and that will be... Control under our dynasty consolidated a little bit, which is good. Von Hohenstaufen. Very good. Um, that'll bring a bit more prestige to our dynasty as well. Which we can check uh, over here. Uh, Why does it tell us how much renown? Ah, up here. So we're getting 3.5 a month. And part of that is increased from... The du oh, it hasn't updated yet. But it will go up a little bit more because of these extra dukes. So we can join some hunts, which we don't need to do at the moment. Um, I can still usurp that title. Can modify contracts, but don't see any reason to do that. Make them a march, which increases levies and all of that, but again, no point. Don't want to do that at the moment. We can create some more titles, but we don't have any. Um, can even create the Empire of Italy. Apparently, I didn't realize we owned enough to do that. But I won't do that because then I'll lose it eventually. No point having more than one Empire title, unless you don't want de jure drift into your um, Empire. I don't think it's worth creating some of the old kingdoms like Lotharingia or Frisia. Or Sardinia. Um, at least not yet. I think we now hold court. Um, we've got three new court artifacts. We must have inherited those, I would think. Yes. Um, but I don't know what... Oh, that's a small ornament. I can't do anything with those. But none of them are better than what I've already got up there. C 
created that one though. That's already displayed. Swabian Tapestry. That was the one that uh, Lootbird created for me. I think we just destroy that one. Get the gold. And the Masterwork Hohenstaufen House Banner. Wait, which one's better? That's better. Way better. Which one do I have displayed? Creator was Rutger, inherited along with the Duchy of Swabia. Commissioned by Kaiser. I don't know which one we have displayed. I think we've... Oh, we've got both displayed. Oh, Alright, good. Okay, alright, that's fine. So I was getting a bit confused there for a second. Uh, oh, wow. We don't have that one displayed. Sword of God. Where did we get that from? The legendary sword of the Hun Chief Attila. The Scourge of God, also known as the Sword of Mars. Prestige per Dread, plus 0.02. Renown, plus 0.1. Natural Dread, plus 15. And Court Grandeur bonus, plus 4. Wow, awesome. We didn't have that one before, as far as I'm aware. So, no artifacts are available for the other slots, I think. We've already got a book, yep, yeah, okay. No furniture. I don't know where we get furniture from, to be honest. We have no artifact claims. And that's just a way of looking at all of our artifacts. It would be nice if we could, um... What did I click there? don't think I changed anything. Oh, no, I did. I unselected the Kinder Krona. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Let's leave that. Um... I think we go on a grand tour now and visit as many vassals as we can. 1190, which we can afford, thankfully. We'll go on a taxation tour. This grand tour is an opportunity to remind my vassals that I am owed tax and obligation and to root out any and all tax avoidance within my realm. Some events will allow avaricious actions. Taking these earns gold both when departing from a stop and at the end of your grand tour. Okay, so, just have to pick the vassals that we visit now. We can only visit ten. Just wondering what the most economical way to do it is. I think visiting King Yaramir makes sense. And then some of these other dukes. But I only want to visit the big ones. Oops. Um, Duke of Lombardy. Lots of counts over there. Duchess Serhilda of Augsburg. Okay, that's not the best route. We can fix that route up a little bit. I think let's then go, actually I should just put them in and I can tinker with them a little bit, so we'll go this way, Ernst, and then Marcella, Lombardy, we'll put the Duchess of Augsburg up the list. So we'll visit her first. So we're going Augsburg, then Prague, down there. We'll skip Istria, because he's only a small duke. And then, uh, so what are we at now? Six out of ten, so we can add a few more. Don't want to visit any counts, I'll just visit the dukes. Duke Gerhard of Upper Lorraine would be good to visit. And then maybe... We got, we got Duke Dirk in Holland, and then how many spots? Two left. We can go. She's got a bit of territory there, quite a bit of territory actually, but so does he. We'll visit 
defaults and then we'll come back down. So that's hitting most of the major dukes, but we don't have enough gold. Particularly not if we want to take everything along with us. 2,391. Alright, let's go back then. Um, how do I change the stops? We'll cancel Cancel Angria, Westphalen, Holland, and Upper Lorraine. Cancel that as well. We'll just do the southern little bit here. How about now? Still need more gold. Only by a little bit. So this increases the starting success of our tour and the prestige gain. And this increases the prestige gain. So we could lower the entourage. We could just wait until we've got the gold. Let's just wait. We'll definitely do a grand tour though. Ah, Duchess Kunigunda has arrived to pay homage. And she pledges her allegiance to us. We get a bit of renown for that. Excellent. Okay, I've swayed Duke Etso as much as I can. So who's the next vassal sought by... Actually, let's sort by rank, and then let's see if there are any that dislike us. Ah, Duke Berthold, I forgot, we can retract titles from him. Ah, but not until the Duchy of Crane is gone. So who's fighting him again? That's right, this chap. This chap is doing it. Okay, I can't imprison him. Nor can I... I can force him to stop his war. He'll lose opinion of me. He might ask for something in return. Let's give it a try. He'll probably ask for a hook. You might be a Kaiser, but you're also a cold-hearted scullion. The unprovoked anger expressed by my patriarch comes as a complete surprise. Alright, interesting. That calms us. Holy Order was hired by Duke Raymond Berenger II of Barcelona. Nice. Duke Etzo was swayed. Okay, he defies me. That costs prestige. Um, I can fabricate a hook on him. I can try and abduct him. That won't succeed, though. Very low chance of success. Um, I can't revoke his titles. I can try and imprison him. It's an act of tyranny. We'll gain dread. He'll be the only one who rises up. And it's just him in Luxembourg. So that's not the worst. I can lawfully imprison Mayor Ruprecht. I'm not really worried about that. Hmm. would like to retract the uh, Duchy of Crane, though. There's not much I can do. I can't... If I take Zurich, I'll lose the revocation reason. I could just take both. I don't think I'll release him. So I'll take Zurich. And then what I'll do is I'll just take Crange as well, and I'll just eat the um, opinion loss. And I'm the new target of the war. Oh, great, so I'll get to imprison him as well. Did I somehow get the duchy? Is, is, that, is that why? No, I didn't get the duchy, but the war didn't end, which is a bit peculiar. But that's worked out reasonably well. Ransom him. So Duke Berthold is no longer a Duke. I think he's just now a random in our prison. We can ransom him also for gold. He has a bunch of claims. We'll just ransom him. 
and Bert Hold as well, we could ransom for 100 gold. He's got nothing but claims now. So again, I think we'll ransom him too. Just take the money. Um, and then as for... We'll win this war and then we'll hand out the, um, the titles. I actually have quite a high domain limit now. It's interesting. But we'll go and take out those uh, troops. Um, yep, keep looking for secrets. Always useful to have secrets and hooks. Okay, should win that battle pretty easily. Oh, he died. Died in his sleep. Okay. Okay. So, that war, or that battle anyway, went quite well. So we'll just start sieging down the holdings there. Oh, he hired a bunch of mercenaries, so let's just take them out. I'm now known as the Old. My liege, have you heard what they call you? My courtier Arnold says to me while maintaining eye contact. They call you Kaiser Friedrich the Old. Not what you would call flattering, perhaps, but it's unlikely that you can do anything to change it. For what it's worth, I promise not to call you by that name, Arnold says and smiles. So we lose some prestige. The old? What? Preposterous. Interesting. My court poet has inspiration. Alright, let's siege this down, finish off that war. Duke Johan of Bavaria wants an alliance. I don't see any reason to accept that at the moment. Uh, I can ransom Meg Gunther and Mayor Baldwin, which may as well do. Okay. And Ugo can marry Maria. I do not care about that. Alright. Don't know who these people are fighting. No reason to get a hook on him. Oh, Rapoto died. I never expected I would grow as close to Duchess Agnes as I have done in the past few years. On multiple occasions, she has proven herself to be a reliable and forthright woman, with only my best interests at heart. Okay, yeah, let's become friends, may as well. Don't see a reason not to. Um, Alright, oh, Duchess Matilda also joined, which means I'll potentially be able to revoke uh, Tuscany as well, once we win this war. Count Gervais of Rathel has challenged me to a game of chess. Sure. Count Gervais is already waiting to begin our little chess match. Sat waiting with a competitive grimace writ large across his features. We're neck and neck, though neither of us is even close to victory. This is why you need to put the work in, consoles my opponent, tone utterly insufferable. There's no substitute for hard work, in life or in chess. I don't know why he's lecturing me, I'm diligent. So he's got very good diplomacy skill, um, whereas I've got average diplomacy, but good learning. So, martial is countered by intrigue. My martial skill is poor. His intrigue skill is poor. Or I can... Intrigue is countered by learning. His learning skill is quite bad. My intrigue skill is also bad. Or learning is countered by martial. I think we'll use that. I'm unparalleled in the theory of chess. Our match marches on, Gervais continuing with a robust attempt at a coherent strategy. Blast it, somehow this man seems to counter every stratagem I employ. I'm in the lead for now, though neither of us is even close to victory. You're much better than my usual partners, admires my opponent, and I play a lot of chess. Well, I think we just carry on using our learning skill against his marshal. I know the rules of chess like the back of my hand. I'm beating him handily, and victory is so close I can taste it. I didn't expect you to be so... difficult to play. Yep. I know my theory. Okay, I won the game. 
We both stare at the final piece. I did it. I've won. God has witnessed my triumph today. From the start, I had complete trust that God would see me as the victor. There could be no other way. A desolate Gervais remains seated, hands on his haunches, trying to comprehend where he went wrong. So I can gain some trait experience. I can rub it in. Or I can try to get him to agree that it was a good game. I'll just say an excellent match. Alright, now we have another inspiration. We've got a few actually. Um, he wants to make a throne. He is very competent at his craft. Yeah, I don't see any reason to hire him. We've already got a very good artifact as a throne. Alfonsina wants to go to Northern Europe. What's the adventure inspiration do? Character as an adventure inspiration is inspired to go on a grand adventure and bring you back an artifact. The artifacts gained from this inspiration can vary wildly and can be anything from the skull of a mighty beast to a stolen heirloom. Yeah, alright. Go for it. Redeem yourself. Prowess, diplomacy, and learning. Well, she's average in all of those. But let's give it a try. Okay. We lost the siege down there. I don't think that matters though. Win the siege is up here. Time has come for me to depart upon my adventure, my Kaiser. My sister-in-law Alfonsina bows as well as she can while weighted down by heavy bags. Before I leave, please tell me, is there anything specific you want me to keep an eye peeled for during my journey? Okay, something unique. An exotic animal. Tapestry. Yeah, maybe something truly unique. I don't know. Let's see what happens from that. Ah, Duke Gulaim. Scheme to have Duchess Clements murdered. It's the Duke of Upper Burgundy. So if we expose that secret... We'll lose stress. Do we get an imprisonment reason? Apparently not. I would have thought we did. But evidently it doesn't make us make them a criminal. We have a court event available. Pariah of court. Baron Guella the Fornicator is a figure of disdain at court, haunted by social ostracism and the butt of many a sordid joke. My failure to condemn and continued proximity to this shameless debaucher is perceived as open tolerance, tarnishing my court's reputation in the eyes of the clergy and faithful. They have forced my hand, and I must now decide whether my courtier's crimes outweigh my affections for her. Surely, something must be done. Are courtiers really so hard to replace? Hmm. Harbors criminals. Yeah, that's not good. Ah, yeah, we could make her repent, and she'll become a, uh, a monk. Or I could imprison her. Or I could force her to leave. No, you must repent. There's no harm in her becoming a monk. Alright. So we can hold court. Um, we've still got one inspiration, we'll leave that. Actually, can we just... Uh, we can't get rid of it. But we can just get rid of it from there, that's fine. Okay, you can transfer Count Richard of Bar to Duke... Walter Strongham of Bar. I presume that's... De Jure in his... Yep, well let's do that then. Provided this chap only holds one county, which he does, that's fine. Vassals always like it when you um, give them control over vassals that they should have control over, you know, that are within their de jure duchy. Queen Nawoja now speaks Lakitic in court. Interesting. I don't know where that language comes from. Can we see on the map court languages? Lakitic. Peculiar realm. Uh, peculiar language. I, I don't know what that means. Hmm. Interesting. Fascinating. Alright. I think 
I'll just stick with high German though, but... I have received an offer from Dietrich, a commoner from Stuttgart. If the letter is to be believed, he is an experienced herbalist who would be willing to share his knowledge in return for room and board. The offer is intriguing, but I know Patriarch Garmin is distrust distrustful of charms and potions. He believes that Satan uses them for his own nefarious purposes. No, I think that's nonsense, and I'm always keen to learn something new. Um, the only thing is, I don't like that he is a master seducer. But I do want to get the herbalist trait, so learn something new. I can always dismiss him from court. Never put a fox in the hen house. Um, we got what we wanted from him anyway, which was the the trait, uh, which doesn't allow us to do anything. We can borrow gold from them. That's interesting. All right. That's that siege down. Let's see if we can go and... Actually, maybe we'll just... Because we've got the onagers in there, so we'll just go and... Siege, uh... The capital down. Go a bit faster. Count Rudolph and Countess Judith are lovers. Oh, interesting. I'm sure Judith was the one that pushed that. My liege, the adventurer Alfonsina sends word, the servant exclaims, holding out a letter. For ten days and ten nights, me and my party have been hiding. The bandit Lady Gurley has set a blockade on the road we must travel. What do you advise? Caution, or should we fight them, trusting God to keep us safe? Signed, Alfonsina, the parchment reads. It seems she's in quite a predicament. Um. Hmm. No guts, no glory. Okay. Keep laying low, they will move on eventually. Hmm. It's a risk. Try this one. Try, try drive them off. She slays Gurley, wow. And sends it to you for use as a court artifact, jeez. I'm inspecting the barracks infirmary when a severely injured soldier is brought in. He's losing too much blood. Where is the physician? Ukid is nowhere to be found. A chill runs down my spine. I might be this man's only hope. Suddenly, as if he stepped out of thin air, my patriot Garmin is at my side. He rolls up his sleeves and looks at me. Okay. So I could try save the soldier all by myself, or I could let him bleed out and gain dread and stress, and Garmin will become my rival and Popo will die. Let's gain I think I think he'll I think we'll save him, so I want the learning lifestyle experience. Yes, we saved him. My patient screams and thrashes, even though three grown men weigh him down. Every step of the way is a battle, but my knowledge does not fail me and my hands remain steady. I'm not sure how I managed, but in the end it seems like the soldier will live. His comrades pat my back, decorum lost to relief. Thank you, my lord, we would have lost Popo without you. Cool, I saved a life today. Excellent, and we'll get Know Thyself. So we'll get a notification when we're close to death. Um, we can ransom some prisoners. Duchess Clementia of Luxembourg. Oh, she's the wife, I see. Yeah, alright, let's ransom her. Okay, and I think we'll just have to go and finish off that army. The Vitalist Reformation, King Nilzas prominent figure amongst Vitalists has gathered every Vadila in the land together to discuss their beliefs and establish an official doctrine for the pagan faith. These Vitalist Vedilos have adopted a pragmatic and balanced view of other faiths and have requested the aid of the spirits to help guide the faithful through these turbulent times. The burgeoning movement has decided not to instate a religious head, preferring instead to let each Vadila determine what teachings are appropriate for their own temple. 
a crusade or two will put these heathens in their place. So that's in Lithuania, and they are of the organized Baltic faith, Vidilism. Right, okay, interesting. Don't seem to be able to catch this army. Okay, Rheinvern has a lover secret. Oh, there we go, caught up, finally. Okay, that's that army taken care of. Let's go down now and deal with uh, the Duchess. Can ransom some more prisoners. Holy Order expands. Nice. Knights Templar that we found that is doing well. Got a notable guest arrived. Duke Floribert uncovered a secret about Duke Gisselbert of Luxembourg, who I'm also uh, at war with. So let's expose that secret. Okay. Surely we're close now. Maybe we siege down Tuscany. Actually, no, we should go up and finish that army off. Uh, new alliance there. Yeah, we'll show Count Imundin. That's fine. He pays homage to us. Got another secret. It's also fine. Just want to win this war. Retract the vassals and uh, deal with it. As I am sitting and meditating on the finer points of Catholicism, I cannot help but think back to when I journeyed to Canterbury on a pilgrimage with Duchess Marcella. This trip was far from the quotidian comforts of my life as a Kaiser, but the relief I felt upon arriving at Canterbury made it all worth the trouble. Growing closer to Marcella was certainly an added benefit, and we certainly enjoyed some quality time together on that pilgrimage. It was good. I receive a missive from my adventurer who has been in the crisp lands of the Tiger Forests. I have spent some, uh, I have spent some time while surrounded by the finest company a journey woman could ask for, a colony of beavers. With this courier, I sent you a book of sketches of the structures they use to catch fish in the waters. Oh, to be a semi-aquatic rodent. Okay. So I could get... Good work, I shall send funds to extend your travels. And I'll become the owner of Palaces of the Beavers. <laughs> Which is not the best, but anyway. Or I can pour over it for stewardship lifestyle experience. Which might be worthwhile if I'm close... Yeah, I get a trade out of that, so I'll do that. Very good. So we can get monthly income while at war, plus 10%. That's quite good. Or Herigeld vassal tax contribution, which comprises quite a bit of my income at the moment. 28 ducats from that, so that's not bad at all. Um, not ducats, gold, sorry. They're not ducats in... It's not EU4. Um, yeah, all right, let's go for the Herigeld, because that will apply even when we're at peace. So that increased our taxation a little bit. Um, let's have a look at these artifacts, because we, we did get some artifacts brought back. Palace of the Beavers, that's whatever. But there were some court artifacts, weren't there? Oh, it's not even a... And we can't reforge it. Um... Yeah, I want to see the Royal Court artifacts, because we did bring... There was one that was brought... Gurley's Skull. Yeesh. 0.25 Prestige, Dread Gain, Natural Dread, Court Grand Gift Bonus. I think we won't use that, but that's interesting. It's an interesting uh, artifact, for sure. It's got some history behind it. Okay, let's catch up to this army, please. No, when has died. How can a heart endure this kind of pain without breaking? It cannot be possible. Yet here I am, my heart beating on whilst yours has gone quiet. Oh, Wenner, my petal, 
Life will not be the same without you. My wife, Kaiser Inwena, has died. She died of old age. At the age of 61. She, mm, that's a shame. She had a good life, though. We are unmarried now. We could marry. And maybe we'll do that for an alliance. But um, I think our character will... Uh, where is it? Oh, I can't embrace celibacy because I have the eager reveler trait. That doesn't make sense. You can be an eager reveler but not want to be a debaucher. But anyway, I can attempt suicide. <laughs> I can no longer endure the emptiness felt within my soul. Life without you, my beloved Wenner, has been nothing more than a burden. If the only way to return to your arms is by departing this world, so be it. I don't think my character would do that. He is not, um... Although he loved her very dearly, he's not, uh... Depressed or anything like that. We're getting close to winning that war. Maybe we just siege down one last uh, few few more baronies, and we should have it. Okay, run that battle. Okay, Folkmar is a sodomite. That's alright. Loathsome wolves in the plains. My lord, a message from your adventurer Alfonsina, the servant says, handing me a scroll. My search has led me to the plains of Orkneyach. They are notoriously wolf-infested, but I have good reason to think that my goal is near. Expect my return soon. Signed, Alfonsina. She surely is ambitious to choose such a risky path. So she'll hopefully evade the wolves. Or she'll slaughter a charging wolf. She'll potentially get maimed. But the inspiration... Oh, let's, by God, I hope she doesn't have to fight one. She's overcome. She got wounded. That's a shame. My lord, my sister-in-law, Alfonsina, announces her arrival in a surprisingly loud voice. She proudly holds up a package securely wrapped in cloth. I return from Northern Europe with an artifact from my journey. I take the bulky bundle into my hands and loosen the cords before peeling layer after layer of fabric. Inside lies a Norwegian battle axe. Alfonsina proceeds to retell the story of how this weapon came to be in her possession. A story with many twists and turns, some less probable than others. Okay. It is magnificent, but it's a bit useless. <laughs> so I don't think I'll even keep it or use it. I think we'll just sell it. Sorry, Alfonsina. And likewise with the Palace of the Beavers. I'll just sell that too. 15% reduction in build time is not very useful. Oh, but we will ask the Pope for gold. And are we swaying the Pope? I don't think we are, but let's get to work on swaying the Pope. Got plenty of gold now, so we can go on a big tour as soon as this war is over. And I should, in the interim, perhaps, hand out the Duchy of... Actually, no, I'll wait until we win the war, that's right, because he's going to war over it. And found another secret about Duke Gisselbert. The ways in which he seeks pleasure is revolting for any decent man to even think of, and yet he is not merely willing, but eager. It feels so unnatural and sickening. No, it is unnatural and sickening. An offence against God. Servant... Fetch me a bucket before I... <laughs> Wretch. We've learnt of his deviant secret. Which isn't a trait. So I don't quite know what that means. Um, anyway. He has creepy... Uh, like, I know what it means. He has odd tendencies in the bedroom. Walking the sacred path. I think we'll grab this dynasty trait. Pilgrimages will be 50% cheaper, which is very useful. Um, we also gain plus two learning per unique holy site of, we, of our faith that we visit up to a maximum of ten. So yes, let's grab that. And then the next one we will get deigning to visit, um, which gives us some bonuses on uh, going on the grand tours. There might be some other ones that we'll take instead of that, though. I'll have to think about that. Might be worth getting noble veins at some point. But anyway, the next trait will take a while to earn. Um, no, not the dynasty tree, sorry. I wanted legacies. 
we'll need another 1750 renown. We're getting 3.6 a month, so it'll take a little bit of time, but the more vassals that come and pay homage to us, the faster it'll go. Ooh, King Yaramir! Behind a failed murder attempt. Alright. We can blackmail him. He'll accept. So we'll do that. And let's demand payment from him. Only 110. I would have thought more for a hook on a king. But we'll take payment. See, I would have liked to expose that secret. Oh, we can do it anyway. I lost my blackmail hook on him. But that doesn't make him a criminal, which we can then imprison. Which is bizarre. I guess no one believes us, I suppose. Or no one cares. One of the two, I, I guess. Um, okay, let's stack on there and finish off that siege. That's a powerful fort, actually. Degraded artifact. Something is approaching zero durability and might get destroyed. Hang on. I want to make sure it's not one that I'm actively using. Yes, that one is the favor of a lady. Let's reforge that. Um, and the chess piece. We'll repair that as well. Stag antler. That's expensive to repair. That'll only cost six, so we'll just do that. The rest of them are fine. Uh, I don't care about the other ones. Like, if we lose the rabbit's paw, or the pressed iris, big deal. But we'll try keep it. And as for the court artifacts, I don't think I'm worried about any of the ones that I'm not actively displaying. Particularly the large wall ornaments, because I can't do anything with them. There's not enough slots. It's the small wall ornaments that we need. Alright, I can demand payment from some of my grandsons. Just basically consider it an extra bit of tax. Beatrice, the daughter of Duchess Matilda of Tuscany, has given birth... Oh, did Marcella die? Hang on. Oh no, she... Oh, alright, I see. I see. I misunderstood that. I've got Mechthild, who's also hideous. Mechthild seems like a good name for that. I've learned of Duke Etzo's secret. I'll come back to that in a second. Let's give her a learning education lifestyle and a learning education tutor. And Etzo of Austria, of House Babenberg. I think we'll just expose his secret. He had Duke Ernst murdered. Interesting. My recent endeavours within the realm of theology have given me a greater appreciation for God's representatives on Earth. Trying to express some of these feelings, I will draft a letter to the King Bishop Alexander. I sit down with the scribe, and together we craft a truly splendid letter highlighting His Holiness. Uh, clear rationality? Unshakable faith in God. Youthful vigour. Or only superior god. Okay. Um, we'll try clear rationality, maybe. See if that works. Almost done with that siege. Yes, that did work. I become the owner of letter from Pope Alexander. Wow, that's nice. Piety plus 0 0.4. That's a masterwork pedestal item. So it's not as good as the other stuff. But, uh... Yeah, dedicated to Kaiser Friedrich and signed by Pope Alexander. Cool. I feel like that should be an illustrious artifact, though, not a masterwork one. But maybe there's better artifacts you can get from the Pope. While his numerous attempts to curry my favour have not gone unnoticed, I cannot feel but irritated by Utica Orzica's sudden interest in me. I cannot shake the feeling that the man's intentions are not pure. Yeah, why can he not leave me in peace? obviously out to get something. Alright, we've won our war. 
So we will imprison Duke Giselbert of Luxembourg. He'll pay us a bunch of gold. He'll lose the claim on the Duchy of Crane. Okay, so we didn't end up imprisoning him, but we can. Oh, we can't imprison him. All right, that's fine. Didn't want to imprison him anyway. I was hoping to take his titles away. Can expose his deviant secret. Disband our armies. What about the Duchess of uh, Tuscany? No, we're allied as well. Okay. I can potentially request excommunication. I didn't actually think about that. He'll accept. Gain the trait excommunicated, which is a crime, so I'll be able to imprison him. It'll cost me 500 piety. The Pope... Will the Pope lose opinion of me? That's the question. I don't think so. He's a known criminal. So... I can actually now... See, deviancy. Okay, so deviancy is actually considered a crime. This might succeed. I shouldn't have disbanded my troops, but let's hope that the imprisonment... Okay, it didn't work. That's alright. We'll just raise our troops quickly. And we'll just go siege the capital down after taking out his um, Duchess Sahilda has taken Stefan von Amsberg as a lover and she has the great pox Ugh. which is uh, I think syphilis isn't it unpleasant uh, oh we can actually we can imprison her as well this also might succeed, because she's an adulterer. That's also considered a crime. So, attempted murder and murder. Not criminal enough. Adultery, though. That's too far. Alright, so she's now under house arrest. I can actually revoke her title over the Duchy of Augsburg. And all of the counties, which I will do. And I can actually give that now to one of my other relatives. So, let's have a look. See who of my relatives is unlanded. Don't want to give it to someone who'll just inherit everything. I could give it to Ermeltrude. She's in a matrilineal marriage, but she has no children. She's young, though. Yeah, let's give it to her. Oh. Oh, I can't. Okay, so she can only inherit... She can only get land by inheritance. Uh, Verna, Verna, Verna. No, all of your children are pretty hideous. We can give to Gottfried. I think he's the only one... Who would be uh, worthwhile. I can invite him to court and he'll accept. I don't know what court he's in. Moved by my tribulations, Dauphin Asnar has offered me his counsel and aid on many occasions, hoping to alleviate the burden of my duties. However, Asnar's attentions have incurred the ire of Duchess Adelia. Asnar cannot be trusted. This is merely a ploy to exploit you, my liege. So he's my steward. She's my vassal. Um, I can try to reconcile the two, and I'll gain prestige. Yeah, let's try that. Prestige, opinion, and diplomacy. I fail. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Alright. So, he's got a stewardship focus, which is fine. His guardian is Wilhelm. Terrible guardian. Let's give him a proper steward guardian. Arnulf will do. And then let's grant him titles. So, everything in Augsburg, basically. I'll just give it all to him. That way it's... Um, he won't have to deal with rebellions. So, take everything in Augsburg. And surely I've got someone else in my family line that I can give 
about, like, did any of my siblings have children? Yes, Otto von Hohenstaufen, my nephew. Let's invite him to court. He'll accept. Um, the Pope probably wants to talk about... Maybe war. He has got decent marshal. Duke Adolf of Tyrol wants an alliance. Did he join? He did, okay. No, he didn't appreciate the distraction, that's a shame. Alright, let's have you educated by... He's got intrigue education. Which is fine. Let's try get you someone that's got a good intrigue education. And then we'll grant you the county of Crange. What happened to the duchy of Crange? It's disappeared. That's alright. I'll recreate the title and then grant it to him. Duchy of Crane. There we go. Create that. And then I'll grant you that title. Perfect. And he doesn't have control over Liebach. But that's probably okay. I could try and revoke the county of Liebach. It's an act of tyranny though. I probably should have done that before I um anyway that's alright, doesn't matter. You want to marry Landolf von Hohenstaufen to your daughter and they'll be of House Hohenstaufen. Yeah. Alright, fine. Won't result in an alliance, but sure. Okay. Alright, that's sort of going reasonably well. Can I imprison anyone else? Duke Gisselbert of Luxembourg, we're at war with him at the moment. Once our troops are, uh, Alphonsina died. I'm not going to accept the board game challenge. I just want to win this war. Duke Walter of Istria. Well, there we go. He tried to have the Duchess murdered, so let's expose that secret. Will that give me an imprisonment reason? It might making him a child murderer. No, it's still considered an act of tyranny, so it's only things that are considered particularly sinful, I suppose. Demand payment from our cousin who we took away all his titles from, adding insult to injury. Alright, that wipes out that army. Let's just go siege that down. Quickly. Alright, um, I can get a strong hook on Marquard. No, no point. It always offers you hooks on characters who aren't really that useful to have hooks over. I can get demand payment from my son, and I can demand payment from Duke Walter Strongarm of Bar. Or would I want to imprison him? No. Do I have any secrets of his that I can expose? Expose murder. Which made my hook expire. But he's still not considered a criminal. So it really looks like it's only deviancy and maybe a few others that matter. Um, let's grab wash your hands. Grab iron constitution next. Ransom our, that mare. Grandeur is gone down, that's fine. Not too worried about that. Duchess Agnes will pay 95 to us because she's concerned for my current war. That's very generous of her. And yep, keep looking. I've taken Duke Gizelbert's son Conrad hus hus uh, hostage. hostage. And we'll receive Duke Vernhard. Gain some grandeur and renown. Very good. Let's ransom him back. Oh, he can't afford it. Okay. That's fine then. I can designate a guardian for Ludolf, who has a martial education. So let's give him 
decent. Okay, Grandia went up again. And, oh, okay, we won that siege. Go for the next one. Ah, uh, learn of Duke Gerhard's attempted murder secret. We'll just expose that as well. No secrets in the HRE. Kaiser knows all. Kaiser Friedrich the Old. Garmin lashed out in frustration. And I am now a rival with him. Interesting. And Duke Stefan of Westphalen is a non-believer. Alright. Expose that secret too. Also doesn't give a tyranny reason. Ooh, dangerous faction. Cisalpine Catholic populists who want independence. They've all got good opinion of me, but they still want independence. That's frustrating. Alright. We imprison Duke Gizelbert. can disband our armies. And we can now retract all of his titles in the Duchy of Luxembourg. So we'll just take all of that. So he's now unlanded. And we can grant these out to hopefully someone in our family. Uh, do any of my siblings have children? Okay, I might have to look for all inside diplomatic range who are not rulers and who are of my dynasty. So we've got Werner, we've got my grandson Walther, oh, and male, sorry. Balder, my other grandson, he's... that's him. Johan Sigismund's son. Alright, we'll grant it to Johan, maybe. We'll just grant him all of the uh, titles there in Luxembourg. Very good. Alright. Okay, we might leave it there, guys. And then in the next episode, we'll do a grand tour, finally, now that the realm is a little bit more stable. We've even further consolidated our grip. We also just swayed the Pope successfully, which is nice. Might even be able to ask him for money again soon. But yeah, we'll leave it there. Thank you for joining me. As always, if you're enjoying the campaign, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one when we'll go on a grand tour around the HRE visiting all of our vassals. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you then.